It's been, I guess, more than 15 years that I've been coming to Wimbledon, but such a unique setting. Everything is wonderful here. You know, I think the, the, traditional, the tradition part and the history part is something that Wimbledon breeds in every step of the way. The center court, you know, still have the tradition of you know, no advertisement, everything is focused on players dressed in all white and tennis ball. There's no announcement of the players, you know, it's this silence that is very particular, you know, and very well known around the world for, you know, for Wimbledon. And as a player, of course, it's, it's a huge honor and privilege to be part of it. And uh, regardless of the success that I've had, you know, I still feel like that, you know, young Novak dreaming of you know participating in this tournament and winning it so it's uh, it's quite unique I had the dream when I was a kid to win Wimbledon and uh, become number one in the world so that was realized basically at the same time in 2011. After that, I had started to dream new dreams and uh, set new goals. And uh, I really haven't thought of becoming, you know, the most successful male tennis player ever, uh, only until maybe three, four years ago, really, because I, you know, I had, of course, Nadal and Federer in front of me, and they were kind of always leading the way with an amount of Grand Slams and maybe weeks at number one, etc. I started to believe more, you know, obviously as I was you know, dominating the game and, and being being number one for quite some time, and then I was coming closer. And uh, Roland Garros was always a, a paramount. It was always a, such a big mountain to climb for me to, to win this year, you know, with Alcaraz being in such a great form and us going, you know, head to head in, in the semis and then playing Rude that was also playing great, you know, for the for the most of the match. And I just somehow managed to find that extra gear, you know, when it mattered. It was an incredible thrill to have the closest people in my life there and uh, celebrate with them. But I had to turn the next page very quickly after that, you know, it was just a few days of that's nice, and then, okay, what's next? You know, because Wimbledon is just around the corner, so I had to already prepare myself, you know, well for, for another challenge. It's a golden generation of, of, of the men's tennis, no doubt. Roger retired, you know, last year. Rafa is obviously struggling a lot with the, with the injury, and he was mentioning that it might be his last season next year. Uh, you know, Andy and I are still holding on for how long, we don't know. He's working his, his way up at the rankings and uh, playing challengers like their Grand Slams. You know, that's, that's a champion's mentality and that's the grit that we were normally seeing with Andy throughout his career. So it was great to have a hit with him at the championships courts. Uh, we haven't done that in, in a while. And, you know, I wish him all the best. Hopefully we can still challenge the young guys and not allow them to, to dominate the Grand Slams at least.